everybody. Today's news would be about amazing Olivia's childhood. Would you actually believe that she came from a poor tenant village? This is the story of her childhood. In the headquarters of Dare to Dream in Hong Kong, Katrina was looking at some photos of Kenyan villages. This little village is just so dirty. The roads are full of mud and the people still live in huts. They really need some help. Yes, it sure needs help. This Christmas, we'll be working on this Kenyan village then. Good. Olivia is just an eight-year-old girl. And unlike the other children, she believed in her dreams and hers was to be a magician. The children thought it was silly to believe in such a dream as it was always going to be impossible. But Olivia never gave up. Now we present Amazing Olivia. This is the Fire Hoop Show. Thank you. Thank you all. Hello, little girl. What's your name? H Hello, I'm Olivia. I'm from Dare to Dream Charity. What's your dream? I want to be a magician. I will perform around the world and be famous. Interesting. We are Dare to Dream and we will make your dreams come true. Really? How can I become one? You'll see. Back at the Dare to Dream headquarters. Hello, boss. I'm back. Good. Welcome back. Are there any talented kids? Oh, yes. There's one called Olivia. She believed that she would be a world-famous magician one day, unlike the others who only dream of being a farmer. Only one? The kids need some encouragement. Now, why don't we go back on Christmas and buy Olivia a beginner's magic kit? We can also cheer up the other children. Good idea in the Kenyan village on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, Olivia. This must be your mother. Here, this is your Christmas present. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you too. Wow, a beginner's magic kit. I love it. Thank you very much. How can we repay you? There is no need to do that. We are funded by tycoons. Olivia was thrilled and grateful. She started practicing day and night, and she never gave up on it. So this is the start of Olivia's career of magic. She worked hard and never gave up. When her friends came to ask her out to play, she always refused, as she was busy practicing her magic tricks. Back at the Dare to Dream headquarters. Katrina, is it time to go back to check out the little village? Yes, I think so. Okay, I am booking a flight for you now. Back in Olivia's hut. Olivia, stop playing with your silly magic tricks. Mom, it's not silly. I want to be a magician when I grow up. Don't be silly, Olivia. I'd rather you do something more useful and sensible. I don't care. Being a magician is my dream and you won't be able to stop me. Twelve years later in New York, there's an interview with Olivia on CNN. It is such a pleasure to meet with the world-famous magician finally. How do you feel when you see the long queue outside the Majestic Theater for your magic show in New York? I am flattered with a bit of surprise. Seems that this is more overwhelming than David Copperfield's performance last year. Everyone is thrilled to watch your performance. Among all your magic tricks, which is your favorite one? Not the vanishing egg. Not the dancing ties. And I would say it's flying. Flying has always been my dream. Like being a magician. Every time I do it, I feel as free as a bird. And all the problems and insecurity are gone. Is there anyone you would like to thank for assisting you to become who you are today? I would like to thank Mom and Katrina. In fact, they are all here. If not with their support, nothing can be achieved. The reporter invited Katrina and Mum out for the interview. I have only contributed a small part by recommending you to my boss. It is all your effort, Olivia. I must say sorry to you that I tried to stop you from practicing magic 12 years ago. You're absolutely right, my girl. If you have a dream, go for it. We can't wait to 
watch the performance and wish you a successful performance in New York.